Hey guys, how's it going? Tank Devane here, bringing you uh, just a, a short video um, on Fallout 4. It's just a, a quick um, kind of tip, I suppose. Um, it's not it's not hacking or anything. It's basically just to get unlimited um, steel and uh, I think copper, isn't it? Um, I know there's crystals, um, but basically, basically unlimited caps and everything like that. Um, so what you want to do first is you want to come to Jamaica Plain here on the map. There's the S Boston military checkpoint and Diamond City is there. Um, so it's it's better to do this when you like not when you come out of the out of the um, vault to start off with. Like get at least I don't know level ten or something, so you have a lot of ammo and weapons. Um, because there's ghouls here and they just fuck you up and it's it's crazy. Um, but um, I've already done this a couple of times, so I know what to do. Uh, shut up. Um, so yeah, before before you even do this, um, with if you have a companion with you, you should be over that. Actually, I'll turn it off and I'll, I'll show you from the other side um, what happens. So. First of all, you'd start off on this side, um, and then the red laser beams will be coming across. If you have a companion with you, just tell him to wait back here, and you go forward, right? And if you keep going forward, these laser beams, he's going to actually come out. No, I don't want him to. Get back in there. Get back in there. Bitch. Um, these laser beams are actually kind of detect um, detectors, and they... If you walk into them, um, no matter. Um, if you walk into them, there will be three torrents uh, that will just blast the fuck out of you if you're on that other. If you're on the opposite side, um, like if you do this, walk into it like that. They'll go turn off, and there should be a torrent. I think there's one should be here. One should be up here, and the other ones uh, uh, should, will, will, should be up here. And I, I, um, yeah, so once you do that, um, once you've put your companion over there, what you want to do is actually open this door again, find hey. him, and just click Ooh, him, here. make him to go in there. Okay. Press the button. So what you want to do is this big red button would flick these back on, and then it will lock the door so your companions in there and won't get in the road. Now, before you do anything else, once you get to this side and you've collected all these. Oh, by the way, before when when you're on that side, if you can shoot the torrents from over there, that would be great because then you you could you know knock off or run into these and the torrents won't hit you because you know, they're obviously gone. So what you want to do is you want to disarm all these laser tripwires and you'll get crystal, fiber optics and steel and you just run and you just go through all these laser laser beams um, or whatever you want to call them and you just collect them just simply look up to collect them now if you do touch one of them like as like I showed you just before the rest of them will kind of deactivate and you would have to come back over here press the button again and it's just like that and then they will disappear and you can't do it until you press the button door open press it again and then the laser beams will come back on and then the door shuts now i'm actually going to show you from here so once you've kind of because i've already i've already done this uh, i think three times already um, once you've got the laser beams, run out here, run back through the door you came in from. Uh, this isn't, so doing this isn't a spoiler to anything. Um, it's just something you can do on your own free time if you really want to. Um, and once you come to, once you come here, what you want to do before going into the door is shoot all the ghouls that you can find or that you see um, and then once you do that there will be a workshop over here right here 
Um, and what I've already done is I put a supply line from Jamaica to Sanctuary, and Sanctuary is obviously going to be uh, obviously my um, home base where everything's kind of set up. Um, and then what you want to do is you just go X for transfer if you're on Xbox or Square if you're on PlayStation. Um, I don't know what it is for computer because I've been playing on computer before. And you just press Y or triangle, convert all the junk, which is just the steel and the copper wire and the um, crystals and all that to the workshop. And then that will go directly to Sanctuary. And then basically once from, from there, you want to go back in, you want to do the process over again, come back out, put them back into the workshop and you keep doing that over and over again. Now for the money part, what you can essentially do is you can get the crystals, um, the steel and the fiber optics is what you get. Um, you can get those three and you could just put them into your inventory, go to shop, sell them or the other one. Um, the other one that I know you can do is to go into this part, go resources, water, and get water pumps or water purifiers or, water, or the industrial versions and basically just set them up pretty much anywhere there is water, uh, like say at Sanctuary, which is where I've done mine, which I'll go and show you at the moment. Um, and basically you just, you set up the water pumps or the water purifiers or whatever you want to call them and you connect them to uh, generators and then from there it will produce purified water and then you get the purified water from the workshop at the designated, um, the, wherever the, uh, it's like sanctuary, wherever the home base is that you have it, have all the purifiers at. And so this is what I have so far. Uh, you can have more, you can have as much as you can provide. Um, so basically it's just water purifiers connected to generators. And what they basically do is obviously, like I just said, they make uh, purified water and you get them from going back to the workshop, um, which would be over here. Um, which is just here, go to transfer, go all the way over to aid and you've got purified water and you just collect all them, put them into your inventory. Um, and what I also do is I get all the food as well. So all these, just so I have more to sell and because it, you don't always need food or you don't need food in the workshop because the food always grows and then the people who are um, designated to the food kind of does it on their own time and then what you want to do from or what I do from here is if if you have these set up um, you basically walk up to them sell them the you know the junk or whatever um, and then you can you can also go to Diamond City which is where I go um, afterwards and just sell the purified water and the food that you have and then you just you get a fuck ton of caps, I think is eight caps per purified water without any perks. And then with the, um, I think coin collector, I think the perks called, um, you get an extra two caps for, for the purified water, which means you get 10 caps. Um, I'll actually bring it up and I'll try and that one cap collector, uh, you get better than selling prices. So if you don't have anything, if you don't have any of the perks, then it's eight. Um, if you do have the perks, it's ten, or it's ten for me at the moment. Um, and then you can just walk up to anyone, like the weaponary, the baseball guy, um, the girl here, or um, chem guy, or the robot there. Um, go to any of them, sell them the purified water and the food, and then you get caps. Um, and then basically just repeat the process over and over and over again until you have however much you know crystals or steel or whatever it is that you need um and you can you can do this for as long as it takes or for as long as you want and it it and that's because it's they won't fix it there's no point um but yeah um if it does get fixed i will update this video um but until then there's a hack for you guys enjoy